Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and it is time for another episode of Welcome to My Collection Wednesdays. The next title we're going to visit in the Valiant Universe is going to be Archer and Armstrong. I do have a few extras in the back, as background there. Um, this is one of the titles also that I really do enjoy. Um, from the Valiant era of books. I know they've re uh, revitalized the story as well recently, and Arch and Armstrong are uh, going well and strong again. This was created by Jim Shooter, Bob Layton, and Barry Windsor Smith. Characters here are uh, Obadiah Archer and Armstrong. Uh, his real name is Aram. Archer is a martial arts specialist, and as his name, not only is it his name, but he is an, uh, a, a very good archer as well. Armstrong is uh, immortal and has a strength of 10 men. Uh, this is kind of like a uh, superhero buddy book. Uh, this is the new dynamic duo, or it was uh, back in the 90s. Uh, I tend to think of these two as kind of the odd couple. You got one that's uh, basically a Buddhist monk and really kind of calm and serene and and uh, then you have your uh, I, I really don't give a care in the world attitude coming from um, Armstrong uh, he's lived a few thousand years and really enjoy his life uh, for its uh, pleasures I want to put it that way um, but very much uh, the uh, ying to his yang, anyway. Um, the primary bad guy or villain in this storyline is a uh, international secret society known as the Sect, that has infiltrated government and religious organizations. Kind of think like it, the Illuminati type of uh, approach to that as well. Uh, this ran from 1992 to 1994. Uh, there were 26 issues plus the origin. And unlike a lot of books where the zero is done after, this was actually the first book. This is the first appearance of Archer and Armstrong was in the zero book, their, their origin story. Uh, he is an immortal, one of three brothers uh, that are. And actually in some of the other stories you will run across, uh, even in this series, uh, one of his brothers is known as the Time Walker and his uh, other brother is the Eternal Warrior, uh, Galad, uh, which is in the other books. Um, in this particular book, the cover art here is done by Barry Windsor Smith. And the group of books that I have uh, on, the, on the stand right now, the first 14 books in this uh, run, or I should say first 12 books in this run, are predominantly both care, uh, uh, cover art is done by Barry Windsor Smith and most of the stories are also done by Barry Windsor Smith. There are a couple exceptions and I'll point those out. Um, and then the second half going from um, 14 through uh, 26 you have a, a Mike Vosberg or Vaz who takes over as the cover artist and most every one of those stories from that point on too is also written uh, by Mike Barron, with a couple exceptions. So, let's get going with the books. You're looking currently at the origin story of uh, both uh, Archer and Armstrong. Since we've been staring at that while, a while, I'm going to move on. Um, Archer and Armstrong, number one. Uh, f cover art here is actually done by Frank Miller, uh, with a story done, collaboration between Barry Windsor Smith, uh, Bob Layton, and Jim Shooter. Um, this is part of, and as you can see here, chapter three of the Unity. This is one of the few, one of the first couple books are part of that Unity event uh, within the Valiant universe. And with that, you're going to have all kinds of appearances within this book by the Eternal Warrior, the Harbinger, Solar, or Solar, Exoman of War uh, in this book. And it continues over into book number two. Um, chapter 11 of the Unity event, 
and uh, you uh, get uh, appearances by uh, X Men War, Eternal Warrior Rai, and as seen on the cover here, Turok as well. Uh, and actually, he is kind of central in the story in this comic book as well. And uh, Barry Windsor Smith and Jim Shooter on story here. Urgent Armstrong, number three. Uh, Barry Windsor Smith story and cover art. Archer and Armstrong find themselves in the Vatican being chased by oozy packing nuns called the Sisters of Doom. And of course, you also get an appearance by Pope John Paul II himself. Number four, still trying to run away from the Sisters of Doom. Cover art here, once again, done by Barry Windsor Smith. Change in storyline and story arc. The uh, duo here of Archer and Armstrong go and visit Armstrong's wife, Andromeda, who lives on an island in the Mediterranean and has a pet dinosaur named Flo, who uh, apparently um, Archer isn't too fond of because he thinks he's trying to eat him. And that storyline carries over into book number six here. Once again, cover art here is done by uh, Barry Windsor Smith and Bob Layton. Archer and Armstrong number seven. Cover art here is done by Barry Windsor Smith and Art Nichols. Uh, they move on from the Mediterranean island and wind up in France. By the way, in all these stories, they do a lot of traveling. Uh, the different locations all over the world that you'll find both Archer and Armstrong uh, in their storylines. Currently, they are in France. Now, speaking of France, one of the most famous tales that came out of France by a little author known as Alexander Dumas, The Three Musketeers. This is kind of uh, Barry Windsor Smith's uh, twist on the Three Musketeers, in which the Three Musketeers are the three immortal brothers, Glad, Aram, and Ivor. And it, um, there is also happens to be a, uh, if you're familiar with the story, Story: There is a uh, archer look-alike playing the role of D'Artagnan, and this is a wraparound cover as well. Now there is once again a little gap. I I'm, I don't know how or why, but I missed out on uh, the number nine. Uh, that is one that is missing from this run. As a matter of fact, I'm only missing four books from the entire run of this particular uh, arc of stories, uh, the 92 uh, Archer and Armstrong run, uh, and nine happens to be one of them. Number 10, we've moved from France over to England. Uh, ben here, and we have uh, some trouble with a flying double-decker bus here on the cover. Um, and in this particular story, we're introduced to Archer's brother, Ivar, also known as the Time Walker. And we also get a special appearance by Jimi Hendrix. And he's actually appears in both this and in the following uh, comic, uh, number 11. And of course, as you can see on the cover here, uh, there is an appearance also in, uh, by Solar in uh, number 11. Cover art and story, once again, done by Barry Windsor Smith. Um, and there is a visit to some old stomping grounds, which happens to be Stonehenge for Armstrong. Uh, number 12 is kind of a standalone story. Uh, cover art here is done by Barry Windsor Smith. Um, 
and story as well. Um, it's kind of a, there is a, some little bit of backstory about uh, Archer's family, about his mother and father in this particular story as well. And um, of the books, this is the last one that Barry Windsor Smith is involved with as well. Because when we move on to the next book set of books, um, we have one new cover artist for the number 13. And from that point forward, they move on to Mike Vosberg, who does the rest of these, also known as Vos. Archer and Armstrong, number 13, in this particular one. Once again, the cover art here is done by uh, Rags Morales. And the story is by Mike Barron, who once again is involved in almost all the rest of these as well as far as a writer. Um, particular story here, Armstrong decides to teach young Archer the facts of life. Now we move all the way over to the west coast of the United States, Hollywood. Archer and Armstrong are in their uh, mansion and are attacked by a mysterious group of assassins. Uh, once again, this is covers known as you can see VOZ Vaz, Mike Vosberg, and stories done by Mike Barron. I say that's pretty much most of these, with a few exceptions. Uh, Archer and Armstrong, number 15, cover art by Mike Vosberg, story by Mike Barron. And now we move on to Vegas, Archer and Armstrong, number 16, uh, covers by um, Mike Vosberg, story is actually done by James per Perham. Uh, which is a, a, um, one that Mike Barron steps away from. Again, cover by Mike Vosberg. Story by Mark uh, Mike Barron. And now we're down in Florida looking for buried treasure. Archer and Armstrong, number 18. Cover here done by uh, Mikel Valesio. Uh, it's Mike Vosberg. And it is a parody of the uh, Michelangelo's creation of Adam on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Number 19. Archer and Armstrong are drugged and mind controlled. And what do they do? They do dishes. Arjun Armstrong in the Temple of Drudgery, number 19, Mike Vosberg and Mike Barron. Archer and Armstrong, number 20, Christmas issue. And yes, that is Armstrong making an appearance as Saint Nick goes undercover as Number 21, I have shown off uh, stories with Shadow Man before and the big villain in that storyline makes an appearance here in Archer and Armstrong as well as well as, well as Shadow Man and that being Master Dark. Now he's part of both this and the next one, number 22. So again, the story revolves around both Shadow Man and Master Dark, number 22. Cover, once again, by uh, Mike Vosberg and Mike Barron. And then the very last book that I have, number 23, uh, Mike Vosberg, Mike Barron. Uh, Archer finds himself in between two warring mob families. The story is actually called Bad Karma. Um, anyway, that is all the books that I have. This goes through 26, so I don't have 9, I don't have 24, I don't have 25, and I don't have 26. Very close to having the full run of this. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy these books. I really do like the, uh, the 
Archer and Armstrong. I haven't seen where they've gone with their new books and stories. Interested in checking them out because I really did love these characters when I did, when I did read them. Um, anyway, uh, if you liked the video, hit like. Subscribe if you want to watch more. Feel free to leave any feedback or comments down below. And thank you for watching.